price of admission, one dollar. The price of buying them, according to the present owner, Saki Caravas, will be between 750,000 and four million dollars. His decision to sell them has reopened the question of whether the British government and customs still regard them as obscene. I bought Lawrence's paintings from Angelina Ravagli, who was the last and third husband of Frida Lawrence. And he was preparing to return to Italy in 1957. And I asked him if he would sell them to me, which he agreed to. And what price did he pay on them? Are you going to tell us the, the price? I, I refused to answer that question because there were many complications to it. Of course, they were seized in London for being obscene. Did what were people's views about the obscenity issue on, on the paintings? You get replies from A to Z. It's amazing. Some people are crazy about them. Some people are not. What it's all that? in the eyes of the beholder, you know. Saki Caravas has been trying in recent years to discover whether the paintings are obscene in the eyes of the British government. He has also offered to give the Lawrence paintings to the British if the British give the Elgin marbles back to Greece. In 1976, I wrote to Mr. Roy Jenkins, who was Home Secretary at the time, and he was very kind to reply to my letter. I quote, this is the 3rd of August, 76. The importation of paintings into the United Kingdom would be s subject to the separate controls of the Customs and Excise Acts, which prohibit the import of indecent or obscene articles. Again, I have no responsibility for the operation of these controls, and it will be for custom officers to decide on the merits at the time of importation, whether in the light of current law and contemporary attitudes, particular articles are to be regarded as falling within the prohibition. Yours sincerely, Roy Jenkins, unquote. Then I also have a letter from Mr. Kinnock, from his secretary, <clears throat> Mr. Charles Clark. This is dated February the 5th, 1990. Dear Psyche Caravas, Mr. Kinnock has asked me to thank you for your letter about D.H. Lawrence's paintings. I apologize for the delay in replying. Mr. Kinnock's views on the Elgin marbles are well known, but he does not regard these matters as appropriate for quid pro quo bargains. Obviously, the return of D.H. Lawrence's paintings to Britain would of it itself be interesting and worthwhile. Yours sincerely, Charles Clark, personal assistant to Neil Kinnock. I would be very happy if they were returned to England, if an offer was made by an institution or by an individual. I think they should rightfully return to England. The paintings began their journey to Taos in London in 1929, when D.H. Lawrence put his paintings on display in the Warren Gallery. 